Greetings and welcome to Channel Rockaritaville. I'm your hostess, L Rock, and we are doing a week ahead for Taurus general energies. And uh, we're asking, what are the influencing energies for the week ahead for Taurus? So this is sun, moon, and rising. So if this storyline doesn't vibe with where you're at right now, Taurus, check your moon and rising signs on the channel. There might be something there for you as well. So general energy for the week ahead for Taurus. What's the influencing energy for the week ahead for Taurus, please? All right, so it looks like you're feeling a little bit dispirited in the week ahead, Taurus. I'm sorry to hear that. St. John's wart, so um, always a good supplement to add if you're feeling a little bit dis dispirited. And then we have immortality. So life after life. Being able to survive something, it looks like. What else do we have for Taurus for the week ahead? Week ahead. Taurus, please. Two more cards for Taurus for the week ahead, please. Why are you dispirited, Taurus? Taurus? I just said your name so weird. <laughs> Two more cards for the week ahead for Taurus for influencing energies, please. Salt for protection. One more card, please, for Taurus for the week ahead. And breathe. Eucalyptus. All right, Taurus. So it looks like you've got some... Um... So what's got you down? What's... What has you dispirited? Something that requires your requires protection. Um, breathing is going to be if you're in high anxiety or you're feeling high stress. Your medicine is eucalyptus or anything really mint um, because it can help you deepen your breathing. So, whatever this is, um, Taurus, in the week ahead that has you a little bit down, feeling like you need to protect yourself. Um, I want to clarify a little bit about immortality or coriander. Okay, you're feeling trapped about something, Eight of Swords. You're feeling stuck and you can't get out, and you can. Um... Immortality and coriander is that that renewal. It's that being able to rise up um, above it. And here with the Eight of Swords, you're feeling you're feeling caged in. You're feeling tied up. You don't understand what's going on. But I do see that. Um, let's see. Can I turn on my flash really quickly? Because I want to get close up. And I'm going to lose the light here. Okay. Um, you see this little birdie right here? You've got um, somebody looking out for you. You have somebody giving you information. Um, I don't know if this is... It's a good bird. I was about ready to say, I don't know if this is a good bird or a bad bird. But I immediately heard good bird. So whatever has you dispirited and feeling kind of eight of swordsy right now... Um, you have assistance and help here. Let's let's see if we can get a little bit more information about dispirited and St. John's wart. Hmm. 
you're wondering about the deck of cards that I'm using today, I am using the Witch's Kitchen Oracle and the Everyday Witch's Tarot. Tarot. And interestingly enough, Taurus, these were not the cards that I was going to use, but I definitely had a request, if not, I might say, somewhat of a demanding energy to go with um, my witchy cards. So for those of you out there, you Taurians who were hoping for that, here you go. Four of Pentacles, Dispirited. You're really feeling locked. Oh, coronavirus. I'm like, man, you are feeling locked up. See how this guy's um, really in this prison and he's sitting on his four of pentacles, his treasure. There's a window here that you can get out through and the cat's trying to show you the way out. I feel like you might have more than one helper coming in this week um, to give you information. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you because maybe, maybe it's animal helpers. Maybe if you're an animal whisperer or... Um, just an obscure friend, maybe, um, that just swings by from time to time. But whatever it is, you're feeling dispirited because you're locked in, likely because you're in quarantine of some sort. And, um, man, that's got you bummed out, Taurus. I can feel it. So... There's definitely a way out. With this, you have you have this this one locked door. Maybe this is just something as simple, Taurus, as you need to go out in your yard and spend 20 minutes soaking up some vitamin D and getting some sun. I see that there's a lot of gray skies here. There's gray skies here. You're feeling super dispirited. Um, I wonder... If there was a death in the family, perhaps, and if there was, I'm so sorry um, for whoever, if it was a pet or a person or if somebody's, you know, started life after life, um, that might have you, you know, obviously that's for a very small number of people, not for everybody, um, but considering what's going on, it's a very real possibility, so... Taurus, um, can you tell me what you need protection from this week? Why salt is here? Salt, why are you here? The Emperor. And the Emperor, when it fell on the floor, fell in reverse. So the Emperor can be a boss or an authority figure of some sort. A parent. Um, just somebody who has a level of authority. And when the Emperor is in, a, in reverse, they can be a little tyrannical. Or tyrannical, however, a tyrant a little bit. And um, it looks like there are some plans here on um, on the ground with the emperor and something about these plans that didn't go out, didn't work out the way that the emperor wanted um, is weighing on here. We've also got um, the emperor is the number four and it's also bringing me back to this four of pentacles and perhaps you're feeling dispirited by this. Um, if this is a work situation, Taurus, um, I would just invite you to consider that we're in a new normal right now. And, um, you know, whoever this emperor is um, that maybe has you a little bit tied up and that you need protection from, that's where your cat and your bird come in. So I don't know if these are work colleagues, friendships, or something like this. I feel like this has something to do with work. And um, and you're just going to want to protect yourself. Read and reread all of your emails before you send them. A really great best practice for that is to read them out loud to yourself. Make sure you're clear about any plans that you make. Um, due dates, arrival times, if you're meeting with somebody somewhere. Um, anything like that, make sure that you're crossing I's and dotting T's um, this week so that it helps to avoid confusion for you. 
Tell me a little bit more about eucalyptus. So breathing and meditation are likely the outlets that are going to help you get through this. Um, you'll want to, you can use salt to protect your energy. You can also use white sage to clear your energy or any other number of things. Just even running your hands in water can be cleansing. So whatever it is you need to do to cleanse and protect your energy, you're being called to do that. Um, one more card, a card for eucalyptus for breathe, please. Looking for energy for chorus for the week. Clarifying for eucalyptus. It's really pretty self-explanatory, actually. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. So the King of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So what I love about this Two of Pentacles is... Um, how how this witch is standing on this teeter-totter perfectly balanced with both pentacles um you know surrounded by the energy of infinity and then off to here to the side you have the cat getting ready to jump on it this cat is your emperor this is the cat that's going to throw you off balance okay so if you're prepared for this you don't need to be afraid of it taurus it's you're okay you're safe because you know that this is an underlying, well, not an underlying energy, but just really a prevailing energy that's going to be influential in your week. So know that the emperor cat, the authority figure is going to jump on your teeter totter. And that may be something as simple as, you know, asking you to correct a few things in data on a PowerPoint that you've just given. It may not be a big deal, Taurus. So if you're having high anxiety about being locked in because of coronavirus, breathe. Um, you, you know, again, we've got another image of being locked in. We've got this King of Cups on the island. And what I'm being told here is that all of your needs are met, Taurus. You have everything that you need, even though you feel locked away on this island. So breathe your way through it. Know that you're going to be a little bit off balance this week, that, th that this is incoming, right? That you have information and helpers that are giving you what you need to be able to work your way through this. You are protected. You can also take other measures to protect yourself as well. <clears throat> and um, in reverse, so five of swords in reverse. So we definitely have some conflict. Um, you know, maybe some knives are being thrown. Maybe you, Taurus, or Taurus, maybe you're the emperor, right? Maybe you're the one having to drop the hammer about some things that weren't done properly or, you know, that you're having to be an authority figure in some ways that that are difficult for you. Difficult conversations are hard to have, Taurus, and that's okay. Just be careful that you're not throwing any daggers if this is you having the conversation and not the person receiving the conversation. Because what, what will happen is it looks like there's some inadvertent um, hurt or confusion or misunderstanding about what's been communicated or what the intention is. So, you know, Taurus, you're invited here to ask yourself how you might be able to clearly communicate um, in these situations let's get one more card for immortality please I'm curious about that one justice and that is the number of 11 so again here we've got the images of the cats um, fighting they are in their separate spaces One's on one side, one's on the other side, and yet they're equally balanced. So whatever this is, Taurus, it looks to me like you have it this week. You have the balance that you need, even with these disruptions that are coming in. And maybe this helps, you know, find the playful spirit um, with your King of Cups and being on your island. Go and get some fish and, you know, do these things and spend a little bit of extra time reviewing plans 
and or documents or anything you might be signing this week. So anything that you're sending out and that you're receiving. So that goes both directions for, you know, whatever side of the fence that you're on. This justice that's coming in, um, that's your immortality. So if I really, this kind of feels work related to me, Taurus. I know I've said that before, but I really am sensing that. Um, this immortality may be somebody who's um, potentially trying to get you in trouble or if you're trying to get somebody else in trouble, be aware that you will receive justice too. So um, again, I don't know what side of the fence you're on, but I tend to think you're on maybe the side where justice is coming in on your behalf. So, um, you know, you, whatever it is, your immortality, you're making it through. So you're feeling kind of caged up. Um, it's going to be, the entire week's not going to be difficult. This is an overarching or a super influential energy in your week, which means you'll probably work through it or work with it at various times throughout the week, depending on what the situation is, right? So what can Taurus surrender in the week ahead? Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Who else had this? Hmm, I can't remember, but this card also came out for another reading I did earlier this week. So if this is related to love and not work, um, you know, perhaps this is a spouse or a significant other or a child that you live with. Um, and, you know, this might just be a simple, or maybe not for you, it doesn't feel simple because you're in the middle of it, but this might be just a case of cabin fever and maybe some hostile or not always kind, loving communication, just simply from some cabin fever going on here. So it could like really just be as simple and non-nefarious as that. Hopefully it's non-nefarious, but whatever it is, um, giving into intimacy, being vulnerable, whether this is a, I mean, this can be intimacy, intimacy on a job too, right? If you're, if you're a salesperson and you're trying to hit sales numbers and you're just being all up in people's grill without being able to get real, um, maybe you need to be a little bit more human in that situation and a little bit more vulnerable and a little bit more intimate and connect on a deeper level. Um, whatever it is, you're being asked to connect on a deeper level with somebody or something. So what else will Taurus benefit from surrendering in the week ahead? Taurus for the week ahead. Taurus for the week ahead. What do you want Taurus to surrender? Or how would they best be served? Taurus. There we go. Ooh. Nothing and then everything. Surrender to your full power, Taurus. Wow. Look at that lion roar. Yep. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So Taurus, you're going to be called into a real week of balance. Keep your breath about you. Um, stress will build up and the cortisol and those toxic chemicals will, that your body will give off happens when you stop breathing, when you hold your breath in stressful situations your surrender to your full power um, because you are protected, um, as it says right here, with salt. So also with immortality and justice. So whatever this is, um, surrendering to your full, your full power, it, that I, I just feel speechless. You're being called into service, Taurus, and... Sometimes being called into service, it would like be like 
I don't know, like being a first responder or just being in the medical industry for what's happening right now, right? Like, like you're protected, you are, you're there, you're in your power, your life is calling you forward and it's telling you that the road's not necessarily going to be easy and yet you're protected and this is just for me, take care of yourself. Okay, so surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And then, let's see, we had three more fly out. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. And you know what I really get from this is that you will surrender to your wonder and awe when you realize that you can be in your power without being in your power in an ugly or destructive way. And that that takes practice, Taurus, right? That's 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 leaning into the breath and leaning into moments of calm when stress is really taking over. So something really beautiful is coming in that's leaving you feeling empowered. So whatever this is, it's working together for your good. You are not a victim. You're there's, I don't know that there's anybody to blame. This really seems like it might've been a miscommunication and you know, if you can keep your spirits up, that will help you surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Wow, Taurus, this is the these surrender cards are really, really good because it really this card where it talks about surrender to your full power rather than playing it small. You don't, even if you're locked up, you don't have to play it small. There's an open window here for you. There's, there's a way out and there's somebody who's showing you how to get there, Taurus. Be a good listener, be a good observer and surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Look at that power. Look at that card. Wow. Full power. So I think there's some mind things. I Is this cat that's jumping here? And where was your other threat? You had another. Oh, here we go. Um, so these things that are potentially knocking you off balance, are these your thoughts, Taurus? Are, do you get into a really great place where you're in flow and everything's just, yes, 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 back and swoosh, swoosh, like a slalom skiing, right? And then bam, a wayward thought where you don't feel like you're enough. You don't feel like you're in control or in power. You're afraid of your own success or of failing. Surrender to success and surrender to the wonder and awe of it, Taurus. If this isn't a person, if these are your mind, if this is your mind and surrender to intimacy, you are protected through whatever this week is. You are immortal. You're amazing, Taurus. The cards are telling you all about it, but you are locked up in a prison that might be your own mind. And you've got people here who are helping you to try and get out. And um, if this emperor is not a person or a situation, this emperor in reverse might be your thoughts. Are you a perfectionist? Do you think that what you've done, what you've put out, this work that you've created, this masterpiece that is the universe, do you think it's not good enough and that you are keeping it to yourself because you think it's not ready and it actually is? Are you being your own worst enemy, Taurus? You are a beautiful soul. Go have an amazing week. Remember that you're protected.
remember to breathe, Taurus. Have a beautiful, blessed week.